What is the number one problem you all continue to say you have with growing indoors through the winter? I know what that problem is. You guys know what it is? Fungus gnats. Over and over and over again, I get people saying, I've got tons of fungus gnats. What do I do about them? And fungus gnats, if you don't know what they are, by the way, before we go any further, I just stumbled upon something very exciting and it was inadvertent. I didn't even mean to find this, but it's a natural remedy for these things. It's a natural fungus gnat destroyer while adding beauty to your indoor garden. But constantly I get questions this time of year because it's indoor growing time. Everybody wants to grow plants indoors, but they're getting fungus gnats. And fungus gnats are those little tiny, they look like fruit flies almost, but they're a little bit different. And the flying fungus gnats, the mature ones, don't necessarily hurt the plants. But what do hurt the plants, what are devastating to the plants, are their larvae. So these little guys fly around, they breed like crazy, they land on top of your soil, and they start laying eggs. And then the larvae hatch and crawl down down into the soil and they eat the heck out of the roots and then all of a sudden and a lot of times people don't even know this is a problem but the plants start looking unhealthy the tops start growing slowly everything just looks really not that good and a lot of times it's because of these fungus gnats you know they might have a couple little flies flying around in there but the larva down in the soil is what is just wreaking havoc on your roots and wreaking havoc on your plants I struggled with this last year. Growing figs indoors, them fungus gnats love figs and they go after them like crazy, but I have just inadvertently discovered a successful remedy. I don't know how successful yet, we're gonna find out, but I'm gonna take you inside right now into my little indoor garden that we're just starting to create and we're gonna show you what I just noticed this morning. Let's go. All right, so here it is, the indoor garden. And you guys have seen this before, but look at how crazy those petunias are growing, just out of control. And they're doing so awesome here under these lights. And then we've got our little begonias over here. And they're doing well too. Now, these guys have soaked up so much water. I had to cut back on the water. You can see how succulent that growth is there. And they started getting top heavy and falling over, but they're getting some beautiful blooms in there. Starting to bloom here. The yellow came out, one of them did over here. And it's looking really fantastic but these guys are doing good so far. But the one thing we're talking about here are the fungus gnats. And as you can see, we've got these little sticky traps here. Now, I want to kind of point something out here. This little sticky trap here has been over with the begonias in these little guys here. And you see how many, look at the bottom of that trap. Look at how many of those little fungus gnats have collected on the bottom of that thing. And then look at this sticky trap. Now you'll notice there's way more fungus gnats on this trap than there are on this trap. And this is what I've always gone with in the past is these little fungus gnat traps. But until this morning, I actually just moved this trap over. I pulled it up. It's stuck on there by a stick here. But this one was actually over with my petunias and I kept looking at them and I thought why on earth are there so many fungus gnats on this trap with the begonias but so few over here I mean look at the back side of this thing this is the begonia one look at that here's the petunia one isn't that crazy look at the difference why are there so many on that one and why are there so few on this one? Well, I got down and started looking real closely at these petunias. And if you've ever grown petunias, then you know that the leaves tend to be sticky and so do the stems. They're really sticky. And if you get that, you can see where we're headed with this. But I'm going to zoom in now. And I didn't notice this before, but all of a sudden it popped up right in front of my eyes. See all those little black dots there? Those are fungus gnats and they're trapped all over the leaves because of the sticky leaves and the sticky stems of these plants. These petunias, look at that. Look at how many fungus gnats are all over there. These petunias are natural fungus gnat traps. I mean, that is what, I mean, look at that all throughout there, man. You can see them just stuck all over there. Look at that guy. I just thought when I saw that this morning, absolutely fantastic. I've always known these guys are sticky, but I didn't realize they were sticky enough to trap these fungus gnats. It's absolutely out of control. So here's the deal. 
You get to do whatever you want with your plants indoors. You get to grow whatever you want. You struggle with fungus gnats, you just get a couple petunias, set them off in the corner, and boom, you're set. Or plant them throughout your growing environment, and they're going to be natural fungus gnat traps. I just think that's absolutely fantastic, guys. I thought I'd share that with you. If you want something to help get rid of the fungus gnats around your figs, plant some petunias and enjoy the blooms all winter long. Isn't that fantastic? Killing fungus gnats while growing beautiful flowers all winter long. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope that you can have the same success with this that I am. I think you can. I don't see why you couldn't. If you like this one, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along and see how these little fungus gnat killers turn out. Have a fantastic week, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios!